Another Democratic candidate in Wisconsin's 3rd Congressional District is facing criticism for benefiting from dark money spending. JT Siskowski is digging into where this money is coming from and why it's difficult to know who is influencing elections. New filings with the Federal Election Commission show Representative Katrina Shankland is benefiting from outside spending. This just a week after she criticized her opponent, Rebecca Cook, for doing the same. But the two campaigns are at odds over how dark money is flowing into this race. Dark money is a campaign contribution that cannot be traced to its source. Both candidates are being supported by outside spending via super PACs. And super PACs can raise and spend unlimited amounts of money on behalf of a candidate. Cook is backed by Welcome PAC. The organization tends to back conservative Democrats. While Shanklin's support comes from Leaders We Deserve, which supports young progressives. Leaders We Deserve claims to be a grassroots organization that discloses all of its donors. And the Shanklin campaign accuses Welcome PAC of not holding itself to the same standard. As of last week, Welcome PAC had spent more than $170,000 on Cook's behalf, and the FEC filings show Leaders We Deserve has spent more than $190,000 backing Shankland. In a statement, Rebecca Cook's campaign manager says, quote, For Katrina Shankland, it's do as I say, not as I do. She says, the, she, says she opposes outside spending, but benefits from it. In response, the Shankland campaign says, quote, it's true, as Cook notes, that Katrina has continually decried the influence of dark money special interest groups on our democracy. That said, these same concerns in no way apply to leaders we deserve support for Katrina. Eric Wilson, the third Democrat running in this race, says he is almost entirely backed by individuals, and he is disappointed that the other candidates have resorted to attacking each other. With so little time before the election on Tuesday, it's nearly impossible to verify where every donation to these super PACs is coming from. And all of the Democrats in this race say they support campaign finance reform and getting big money out of politics.